Yo, what's up, y'all? You know what time it is. It's time to play Super Mario World. Let's get the secret exit. I should actually turn small first. Yes, I did it. Yes. Usually I try to do that as a a bigger Mario and then get a running start and then crouch. I think that's too hard. Let's try to cheese this area. I need another Koopa Troopa. Oh no. What's this? Okay. No. Oh. Yes! So I just hold the B button. I can fly forever. Until Yoshi swallows the shell. Isn't that fantastic? So I'm trying to get to the star so I could fast travel more easily. Well, I think that, yeah, this one's one of the hardest exits in the game. The special exit that is. Because you need Yoshi. But every... See, you lose Yoshi here. I think I could get there if I swallow a red Koopa. Yes! Never thought of this before. So, there are ways to get Yoshi later. But it's much easier. Wonder if that platform, okay. All the enemies want to kill you and see this checkpoint? Yoshi doesn't spawn past this checkpoint. So I probably shouldn't have gotten the checkpoint. All these charging chucks, chucking rocks, it's not good. This, this is probably the hardest jump. Oh no, this this one. Oh no. Well, at least I can see. I need Yoshi's tongue. I needed that special exit to connect to Star Road. What's here? Why did I come here? I think you just get some capes and that's it. Yep. Yeah, start back here. 
That was worthless. Yoshi, I can't lose Yoshi. I think this might be the only one where you need Yoshi to get that thing. It's hard. It's almost impossible to get that. To pass the checkpoint without breaking the checkpoint. It's kind of insane. I did it. No, I didn't. Okay, now I did it. Okay. This will help me power up and stuff faster. Oh, yeah, this is one of the harder castles in the game. This is not bad, but gets harder. Timing has to be perfect. Pixel perfect. Like this gets much faster. I think I should use my spin jump. Oh yes! Oh yes, I didn't get hit. No, Resner. I don't like... This Resner fight is so stressful. Okay. So you see this area? It's called Backdoor. It's the same thing as Bowser's Castle. It's just a shortcut. So Bowser's Castle is kind of a big place. So going through the back door is going to be make you beat the stage faster. So it's a good thing to get. Let's Get Larry. Another brown poo snake. I guess this kid, this teaches kids patience and stuff, which is good. I think that's a hallmark of platformers on Nintendo systems. It's more about careful, patient platforming. Whereas with Sega Genesis, you had Sonic, where it was about going as fast as possible. I like both styles. And you could do both on both systems. You could speed run Super Mario World and you could take Sonic as slowly as possible as you want to. No Magic Koopa. Now this is kind of tricky because of Magic Koopa. If I didn't have the cape, I would need Magic Koopa to break these blocks for me. That would be annoying. 
I think he's gone for good. No! I think Magic Koopa is an agent of Sony because he shoots all the PlayStation controller symbols. Oh yes! Thank you! Mario has defeated Larry Koopa in castle number 7. All that is left is Bowser's castle where Princess Toadstool is being held. Can Mario rescue her and restore peace to Dinosaur Land? To be clear, I'm not gonna beat Bowser in the next episode. I'm gonna do Star Road, all the special exits. That's not gonna be fun. But we'll see. Well, thank you for joining me on another video. Have a great day.